Hi, I'm Alex. This is Lola. We are your tour guides for today. Welcome to Nesca Purina. I'm excited to have you here. We are standing in the main tower lobby of our campus. This building went up in 1968 and actually was opened in 1969. There's 15 floors in this building. Straight ahead to that left corner, just right past, takes you into a big atrium where we have our cafeteria and it's open for breakfast and lunch every single day, Monday through Friday. Just around the corner, we have our Nest Cafe area where there's just some impromptu meetings that happen, just some tables people can come and sit at, grab a cup of coffee. The ring right above us, you'll notice, to be able to get in this ring, you have to be a global brand. So we have some incredibly large and successful brands in the company that span across the globe. Really proud to have them under our portfolio. We're gonna get up to the second floor in just a little bit, but we'll actually start by going outside the west entrance. We'll take a walk outside of our grounds. Come on, Lola. It's a good girl. Takes the dogs a little while to get used to the revolving door. So we have this beautiful campus and believe it or not, it actually started out as a parking lot right over here. Back in the 1980s, it was converted into Japanese gardens. So it's really beautiful. Associates are able to get up throughout the day and take a walk. You'll see a lot of folks walking around with dogs just to give them a break. The wonderful thing about that is we get to bring our dogs to work every single day. There's probably between 50 and 100 dogs, a couple of cats on any given day. Um, it's really nice. It's one of the best perks I think that we have at the company. The fact that we can be so close to the consumer that we're working for is an incredible privilege, I think. So we have this gazebo, which is open for anybody to be able to come out during lunch or have a meeting. And if we just zoom a little bit to the left, there is a hidden red brick building straight across the way. And that's one of our buildings that's disconnected from the main tower that houses our checkmark department. So they function as a full service advertising agency. We have anyone from copywriters to art directors, and designers all across the board in that area. They are exclusive to Purina, which is really unique. So they work on a lot of our product packaging. They do billboards. They do any type of print media. So we're really lucky to have that group here to try to keep everything in-house as much as possible. So now we're walking toward our dog park, which is a really great feature of this campus. It's split into two, so the area that's closest to us is for more medium size and larger dog breeds. The other side is for the smaller dog breeds. You'll notice there's some kids around as well. We actually have an on-site daycare and um, where they have up to about 70 kids that are um, of our associates, so that's a great benefit to have being so close to, to their kids. The building straight ahead of us, this dark black building, this is our C building, which is called the C building because it was formerly known as the Continental Bacon Company when we owned them. They produce a lot of packaged snacks like Twinkies and, and Wonder Bread and things like that. Now the top flo two floors are for our sales folks. We also have our Tidy Cats team in this building as well as a few other folks from our legal team and engineering. Our campus is about 14 buildings, which takes up about a million square feet of office space on 55 acres of land in downtown St. Louis. That's so a little bit of a mouthful, but to put that into perspective, it's about the size of 42 American football fields. So we have a lot of space, roughly 20, between 2,500 and 3,000 associates sit here in St. Louis. However, the majority of our workforce is actually within our manufacturing facilities across the United States. We have 20 of them. We have about 8,000 associates in North America and just shy of 15,000 across the globe for Nestle Purina. 
So just to our left past this parking lot, you might be able to get a small glimpse of Bush Stadium if anybody's a Cardinals fan or a baseball fan in general. We're just a stone's throw away and it's a, it's a nice feature to be able to have free parking on our campus and just be a couple blocks away from the game. So this is a great view of our main tower. This is our largest pond that we have on campus, one of three. The other two have plenty of koi fish in there to be able to feed. If you're actually standing about three levels in the building or higher and you look down, the pond is in the shape of a duck, a nice little feature when it was made. The building, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, is 15 floors high, the 15th floor being the C-suite and trickling down to having our marketing groups in there, our global strategies business unit, some of our legal team, market research, public relations, and many other folks that stay within in this building. So we're coming up to a very core part of our business. Um, straight ahead, you'll see a sign that says Pet Products Research Center. This is the Research North building of our campus, and just to the right is our Research South building. The South building is really where everything starts. That's where a lot of the innovation, innovation and renovation pipelines are happening. These are a lot of our lab coat folks. We have over 500 scientists in the company that span the entire spectrum of sciences and expertise. So everything starts to happen there and as it comes over into the Research North building, it goes into our pilot plant. So in this large building is actually a functioning manufacturing facility that we call our pilot plant. It's specifically for our dry food products. So we're really working on mastering the recipe, the product here. So that's a little bit of the process of how it might work, but so much of it happens right here in St. Louis. So we're gonna head right back into the tower and you'll actually notice right here that the base of the building kind of flares out at the bottom. And much of that is because back in the day when the company started, we started as an animal feed business. So this is really to emulate a grain silo. So we're back in through the tower where, where we started this morning. I'm gonna loop you around so you can actually see the cafeteria. So we're gonna make our way up to the second floor of the tower building so you can see one of our innovation spaces. Oh, hello! <laughs> so if you look a little bit to the left, this is actually our public relations department. Um, this is the area that really handles a lot of our internal and external communications regarding our brands and some of the efforts that we're doing as an organization. Through these red double doors, we're going to head into what we very passionately call the feed. This is our, our consumer engagement center. This is where all of our real-time social media is happening. So this is where consumers are engaging with their brands and we're responding in real time. So we've just entered the lower level of this facility. And uh, the nice thing about this area is that it's an underground tunnel that takes you all the way to the other buildings on the east side of the campus. So straight ahead over here, we have some nice benefits. We also have a company store, and that's right around the corner here, so we can take a closer peek. Predominantly in this store are Nestle products and Nestle Purina products that we sell at a very discounted price um, to our associates. So a nice added benefit for them to be able to use our products at a really good price. Hello. 
How are you? Good. That's Lola's favorite place is the store. She knows her treats are in there. So we're in the underground tunnel, which makes it really nice for the winter time. Um, again, we still have a couple of buildings that are disconnected from the main tower, um, specifically and most namely a new building that went up, which is actually our cat litter factory, our pilot plant. So that's on the west side of the campus. But this tunnel gets people all the way over to our research buildings from underneath and our Danforth building, which we're gonna go in in just a moment. So you may have seen some of this pull-up banner signage around the building around Stand Tall. Hi, Lauren. And these stand for our values. We have five core values that are, are very, very true to our hearts. Something that I would say we truly live and breathe. Um, and I know every associate can really speak to that. So here's another outside spot. This is a really good inside look on the campus of our Research North building. You might hear a dull humming in the background. That's our pilot plant where some of the production is happening. On a Monday morning, you can usually get a good smell of the kibble. In this building, just to the right, is our A building. This houses most of our IT department. We have a very, very large IT department. It's one of our shared services within the company, which means that they sit here in St. Louis, but a lot of them would probably tell you that they work for Nestle because they do work for the larger Nestle network. So not just Purina, but the larger organization. So we have a very large group of IT folks here, as well as our auditors are also a shared service. So very unique to be able to have them all here in St. Louis. So we're coming up into the Danforth Center and this houses three main functions. We have our Retail Innovation Center in here, our Associate Development Center, which we're gonna see in just a moment. And then the second and the third floor where our HR, our Human Resources teams, sit so this is a very this is a big building it's actually fairly new as of 2012 it went up and it is lead gold certified so it is extremely sustainable it was the in the forefront of our minds as we put this building up so this is our associate development center the purpose one of the main purposes of this area is to be able to provide a state-of-the-art facility for training and development and that's for our associates here and that's also for folks that come from the company from other areas around the world or for other business partners that we bring here to have meetings, events, and all types of training opportunities. So I'll hang around this side just so you can get a good sense of what some of the, the small breakout rooms look like for more impromptu meetings and some of the larger rooms where we might have a training class. We have a wonderfully large selection of classes on anything from leadership training to innovation training to courses on diversity and inclusion. And that's one of the things that you do as you come to Purina and you sit down and develop your succession plan is you put together some of those courses that you'd like to take to grow both personally and professionally. And then of course, what's a floor without a kitchen? So we have a kitchen right around the corner. And we're really proud that any excess food that we have, we donate it to some local organizations to make sure that we're not wasting anything. So we're gonna head down to the third floor, just one floor below here. This is probably a floor that might be of interest to you as this is where you would come and have an interview. So this is the third floor of the D building. This is what a standard floor would look like that you might work on. So we have a kitchen here, we have a lot of offices on the perimeter, and then we have cubicles that are centered throughout the floor. So this is one of our interview rooms. This is where you would come once you have passed our resume review process and our phone screen process. You would come to, you would come to Nestle Purina in St. Louis for one face-to-face -face interview. And this would be about three hours of behavior-based interviewing that you would spend with us. You'll interview with a couple of different interview teams for a chance 
to get to really show us who you are. And I would highly recommend, all of us would highly recommend, I know coming into an interview that you make sure you have some time to do some research in advance. We have a lot of resources on our website at nestlepurinacareers.com that you can take a look at before you come in to see us. We are very proud to be a best place to work both in St. Louis and around the country. Glassdoor namely being one of our national accolades. So again, we'd recommend that you take a look at Glassdoor. And you can get some honest feedback on what the culture is like, what the company is like, and even what the interview process is like. So this concludes our tour of Nestle Purina St. Louis campus, our world headquarters. We're so excited to have you as part of this experience. We really feel like being here on our campus is, is the real culture of the company and something that you can't really experience until you're here and get to see that the walls that we work within. So if you have any questions, need more information, need to do some additional research, please be sure to go out and visit us on our social channels as well as on our website at nestlepurinacareers.com. And we look forward to meeting you someday.